Now, Rachel Garceau with the On Your Side forecast. It is 517 on your Friday. We made it to the end of the week. Congratulations. And we have a pretty amazing weather trend ahead of us. There's a little something for everyone. Today we have kind of one last gasp of that midsummer heat over the weekend. More typical late summer weather. And then look at next week. We get almost a little taste of fall. Look at Wednesday. Sunny with a high of 73. Morning low starting off in the 50s. So if you're kind of ready for autumn to arrive, it is on its way. But unfortunately not today. Today we still have continued abnormally warm temperatures across southern Idaho. That flow out of the southwest will continue to really ramp up those highs today. Here's a system that is going to really drive that cool down next week. It'll take several days to really develop. But by this weekend, what we'll see is kind of the leading edge of that system. We call it a trough, an elongated area of low pressure that will come out ahead of the main low pressure system. So this is tomorrow. We'll see that wind pick up a little bit. No precipitation coming in. All of that will stay to our north tomorrow, but we'll have a nice comfortable drop in our temperatures for the weekend. Here comes that bigger area of low pressure. This upper level low, as we call it, is pretty potent. By Monday, it'll start impacting the Pacific Northwest, bringing some rain to places like Seattle, and then we stay mostly dry as the system comes in. But look at this cooler air invading. That's the middle of next week when we'll see those highs drop into the 70s. So hang in there if you're kind of sick of the heat. There is some relief coming. Now, as far as our uh, fire weather watch goes, it has expanded. We had a fire weather warning in our east central mountain yesterday, but today this is actually in place now for tomorrow from Twin Falls East through Idaho Falls because of the possibility of very gusty winds on the heels of that trough coming in and very low humidities as well. We'll be very dry actually for the next couple of days. Here's that flow out of the southwest that is keeping us nice and clear. We actually won't see much in the way of cloud cover until later tonight. It's also those sending a lot of smoke across Washington State once again, so we do have an air quality alert in place for these areas. Look at that red and orange up in uh, north central Washington, Medford area seeing deteriorating air quality again as well. Here in our neck of the woods, though, things are looking good. The smoke should not be an issue. Most of it will likely be pushed off to the north of southwest Idaho. So I think smoke will not be an issue, but look at these temperatures. It is going to be hot. So mostly sunny today. 94 out in Vail and Weezer. 93 on tap for Ontario. 93 for Boise. Two degrees cooler than yesterday, but hey, 95, 93. I doubt you can feel much of a difference out there. Lots of sunshine in the Boise Mountains. 89 for Idaho City today. Up in the Long Valley. Picture perfect. If you are headed to the hills this weekend, you have some amazing weather ahead of you. 83 in McCall today. We're looking at mid to upper 70s tomorrow in the Long Valley. It'll be beautiful. We may start the day with a few clouds up in the eastern mountains, but those will clear away as the day goes on. 81 for Stanley today, 82 in Sun Valley. Beautiful in Fairfield with a high of 86 degrees. It'll be very warm again in the Magic Valley with mostly sunny skies, light winds, and highs hovering around 90 across the Twin Falls area. And let's check out that extended forecast one more time that shows that beautiful game day tomorrow mid 80s when you're tailgating out there around 6 o'clock, 87 with sunshine on Sunday. Then finally next Tuesday, we drop into the 70s.